welcome back to another episode here at Tourist to Local. My name is Juliana. Martin's behind the camera today. He is here with me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so awkward. Since we just recently moved to Puerto Vallarta, we figured it'd be a great opportunity to show you guys some fun and cheap day trips you can do during your time in Puerto Vallarta. And Sayulita is out of doubt the most exciting one that we have to show you guys. Sayulita is located about an hour away from Puerto Vallarta by bus. It's super cheap and super easy to get here, so you've got to try it. This is actually one of Mexico's magic towns. You'll remember we showed you a magic town of Teposlan a few months back. This is another one, and it's so fun to visit these places because there's so many cute little shops, lots of art, and um, it's really quiet and not as busy as a big city would be. So we are here, and I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about how to arrive to Sayulita. Don't be afraid of the public bus. We love the public bus. To start your journey to Sayulita, you first need to get yourself to Walmart, okay? Take any bus that says Walmart on it, ask the conductor if they are going to Walmart if you are confused, and they will lead you the right way. The bus to Walmart is going to be 10 pesos at the moment. Once you get to Sam's slash Walmart, there's a bus stop that is shaded and lots of guys on the sidewalk that are yelling, Sayulita, Sayulita. Just uh, ask one of those guys where the bus is. They will lead you the right way. The bus is 46 pesos per person at the moment. We paid 92 for two people and it lasted about an hour. Once we got here, we arrived to the bus terminal, which didn't used to exist a few years back. Last time I was here, it was just a dirt patch. Now it's a lot more established. So now we're going to adventure around. We don't really have a plan today. We're just gonna be taking you guys along with us and showing you this town as we discover it ourselves. First things first, Martin needs some coffee. Let's go. We just got off the bus and I needed a coffee. So we found this place that is called, let's name another one. And I asked for an espresso, macchiato, and Juliana ordered her uh, normal frappuccino. Yes. As usual. <laughs> have the same thing and then we will find somewhere to grab a bike in our way to the beach and then we find we're gonna find this uh, beach called Los Muertos Beach. They told me it's the best one. Awesome. to go to the beach but the beach in Sayulita that most people go to is extremely full and we actually heard about a better beach that a lot of people don't know about so once you go down the road into the beach area of Sayulita just go towards the left keep going around the rock and you'll arrive to a graveyard okay so you might think I'm a little bit crazy here you gotta walk through the graveyard and on the other side is a beach called Playa de los Muertos which means beach of the dead which sounds crazy i know but it's a beautiful beach okay and there's not many people here they do have a couple vendors that sell like cheap food and drinks and the beach there's only like maybe 20 umbrellas here and the water is awesome and i love it it's great i'm glad we found this little secret spot and i hope that you guys love it if you come here as well we're just gonna enjoy the water and then maybe do a little bit of exploring afterwards. Two best things to do in Sayulita is of course enjoy the water all day long and also enjoy the shopping. Sayulita is known for lots of cute little boutiques 
So if you like to shop and buy the latest styles, this is a great place to adventure around. I'm excited to see what there is and hopefully pick up an ice cream while we're at it because I'm sweating to death, so I would like to cool down. Let's go see what's going on in downtown. So we were so desperate for ice cream. Luckily, right next to the town center, the Zocalo, there is La Fuente, which is a great place for ice cream. Martin's showing off his dulce de leche ice cream. I got fresa con crema, strawberries with cream. There were so many cool flavors here. They had lemon pie, they had whiskey, they had all sorts of crazy ones. And it seems to be a popular place, so let's try it. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. I love it. We're kind of cheating a little bit because we're going to go grab some dinner now. So I got to eat this quick before we grab a bite. For dinner, we're going to El Ipacate and this is recommended to Martin by some local friends. This place is amazing. The prices are so cheap. You can get some great tacos here, but what they're really known for is their taco de chile relleno or an itacate. An itacate is like a burrito, but the tortilla is made of cheese. That sounds very enticing to me. So I think that's going to be what I try. They also have amazing agua fresca. It's a basil and pineapple. It's really good. This place is awesome. I love it. It's on one of the main streets, El Itacate. Don't forget the name. I think you guys are going to find yourselves here. That's it for our time here in Sayulita. We had an amazing day. I'm so glad we found some amazing things to do. Right now I'm sweating and can't wait to get back and take a shower. We hope you guys liked this video and it gave you, you some we hope you guys like this video and it gave you some inspiration of what you should do during your time in Sayulita. Honestly, if you just find yourself away to the beach, you will enjoy your time here. We're gonna head back to Puerto Vallarta. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel so that you can see more fun and cheap adventures to do while you're in Puerto Vallarta or its surrounding areas. Also, my fiance Martin does have a channel in Spanish in case you do wanna practice your Spanish and watch some travel guides there. So long, travel well, and make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time, bye.